We are on a journey to watch all of Star Trek for the first time, and today is Star Trek The Next Generation, Season 3, Episode 2. We just got past the opener. Wasn't the best, but kind of on par for Star Trek openers in this show so far. Very on par, but unlike the Season 2 opener, this one had Dr. Beverly Crusher. Absolutely, so that got us by. What if she was just gone again? That would suck, but... <laughs> they had Bowaski in the credits this time? <laughs> oh, God. If this is your first time here, we discuss all of these episodes we react to in depth, so make sure to check those out. They're posted the day after the reaction. All right, well, let's jump in and see how it goes. There's the Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like those doors. Is it a Vulcan? Oh! Hey! I was getting a little worried for a second. I, yeah. If they were so close, on screen. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't handle it. It was too much, too much star power. Ooh. I am honored by your presence, but may I suggest you attend the second concert? According to my fellow performers, I lack soul. Yeah. Oh. Data. Telling us why you're going to fail before you make the attempt is never wise. That's how you talk to Data, Pulaski. All right, let's 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 let it go. All let's right, let's right. bury the hatchet. Okay, all right. <laughs> Captain, oh, a classic. We're receiving a message from the Shelliok Corporate. Captain, we have to move forward with the plot. Oh. <laughs> oh, he thinks it's his uh... fault. Shelliok have not attempted to communicate with the Federation for 111 years. Why are they doing it now? Interesting that he knows the exact years like that. Um, maybe he looked him up. Well, that was ADR, obviously. <laughs> we will begin settlement of this world in four days. Remove the humans. Humans can't survive in that environment. Shelliok are asking us to chase ghosts. Shelliok haven't broken a century of silence to send us after phantoms. Set course for Tau Signal 5. Hmm, okay. So some humans just marooned there, maybe? I like that name. Mr. Data, as you're unaffected by hyperonic radiation, I'd like you to go down to the planet via shuttlecraft and commence evacuation. So great seeing Beverly back in a uniform. She was just in her coat last episode. Maybe a dozen or so survived. Cliff Ball! Oh! Ooh, here we go. Look at this. I think it's some sort of shuttlecraft. Oh, it's that guy. It must be from the Federation. He's from a bunch of stuff, but most notably the country club guy from High School Musical 2. We're descendants of the original settlers from the colony ship Artemis. Hmm, okay. In the early days on Tau Cigna 5, survival was more important than history. How many are there? 15,253, sir. Ooh. What? Loading all the Enterprise shuttlecraft to capacity. Evacuation will take four weeks, four days. We need more time. Worf's head looks better every season. It looked a bit more swole, too. Oh, yeah. What a handsome race. <laughs> like that. That looks really good. Combination into, yeah. Like matte painting behind the set? Yeah, yeah, and then, like, it fades together pretty well. Goshevin, look what's come. Lieutenant Commander Data of the Starship Enterprise. He's an android. I'm honestly shocked. I thought we were getting just these two characters the whole time, so credit to them. Yeah. I don't think we're going to see 15,000, though. <laughs> yeah, fair. The most sensible course of action is to prepare a contingency plan for the evacuation of your people. We're not evacuating. You've delivered your message, so go back to your ship. I have work to do. You have to look him up, up, up and down. Huh. See, now these are some good guest characters. Like, that guy's clearly unlikable, arrogant, but he's nice good. Catch. Yeah. Oh. And understandable in his reasoning and point. Found a new toy, have we, Artie? Toy? Th this is the most incredible android I've ever seen. Have you seen many? Actually, no. You're oh. not the first. Only <laughs> you would get this excited over a walking calculator. I'm Ardreen McKenzie. Perhaps I can help you. I love this. It's a shame they had to ADR the whole scene, but... Be <laughs> I need the transporters to function, despite the hyperonic radiation. Yeah, but that's him. Yes, sir. <laughs> he knows not to say impossible. Yep. 
And I, I think Jordy finally has the visor that like I was re recognizable with from pictures I've seen of him. Looks like he got that little bit of an upgrade. Mm. When the treaty was first negotiated, the Federation sent 372 legal experts. What do we have? Data. All right, gotta solve a colonization dispute. Good luck. I like it. Conversation is neither required nor desired. Remove the humans from the Tau Sigma system. Three Earth days remain. May I offer a compromise? Denied. Why? The law is paramount. We are entitled. It is designed to smooth relations between races, not to act as a straight... Oh. <laughs> Bro got hung up on. He's like, you're not going to human splain negotiation and treaties to me. <laughs> Especially since they think they're above them. I don't have any silly prejudice against computers. I like them. Not that any computer we have is half as sophisticated as you are. He's risen no. them up. I would say not. <laughs> Damn, looks at that thing. <laughs> I'm contacting Starfleet to arrange transport. Get those people prepared to evacuate. We may have to move quickly. Aye, sir. A bit more than move quickly if it's going to take four weeks and four days and you have three days. Yeah, Starfleet needs like two business weeks to get anything done. They're not going to help. <laughs> yeah, they're not even going to answer you in time. <laughs> the Sheliak will not accept humans on their planet. And they will not hesitate to use force to remove you. We'll not be bullied off our land, not by you and not by the Sheliak. I like this guy. I don't know if you forgot to wear a mic or what, but I like him. Do you really think it's ADR? Dude, every, all of his lines. If I can convince enough of the people of the necessity of leaving. Don't you mean if we can convince? No, I'm the leader now. <laughs> I really like this friendship, though. It's what Data needs. Starfleet is profuse in its apologies. Like this. It yep. will still be three weeks until the arrival of a colony transport ship. One of their ships must already be en route. We're going to intercept that ship. The Sheliak may interpret that as a hostile act. A risk we have to take. I mean, it kind of is. Picard stands on business. I have spoken with 56 colonists. Ten of those refuse to believe a threat exists. Twenty-two favor staying and fighting the Sheliak. Only eight were willing to consider <laughs> evacuation. <laughs> Use that fancy positronic brain of carry out your mission. The lives of 15,000 people are riding on you. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Is there any indication that Goshevin has changed his position? No, but a meeting will give you a chance to present your recommendations. Whoa! Fully functional. Fully functional. Come on, man. You've done this before. Among humans, a kiss usually serves to seal a friendship or indicates support, attraction. Friendship, yeah. I must assume that your intention was to express support. You really don't understand <laughs> human behavior, do you? That is something of an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe to be more persuasive, you need to use a little reverse psychology. He's doing a Google search. Perhaps this is a situation where excessive honesty can be detrimental. Hmm. Plant. Paint it back. Now, I was hoping he was going to go to the computer logs. I need s someone who's good at speeches of convincing people. <laughs> Captain Kirk, James T. All speeches. I wish to speak. No, leave now. Do you consider your position so weak that it cannot withstand a debate? Woo! Gotta take data to college campuses. <laughs> <laughs> your effort will be valiant. And when you die, you will die for land. And for honor. He's doing pretty good. Your children will understand that they are dying for a worthy cause. <laughs> he doesn't have children. Or is he trying to use him as an example? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's talking directly to the kid. I'm like, I'm like, he didn't understand he wouldn't have children. There will be no one left alive to remember. No, Goshevin's already, he knows what's going on. Uh, but what a low opinion you must have of us. I was simply attempting to describe your inevitable destruction in a manner that would have an emotional effect. <laughs> <laughs> and many more died bringing water to this desert. My grandfather... He's buried on that mountain. Well, who'll be left to bury you? 
That's a mic drop right there. Follow me now. I don't think our chances are as hopeless as he says, and I'm willing to stake our lives on it. Any objections? Good, because here we stand. Right. We stand with you. You're not quite there, Data, but you tried. Then here you die. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it's like you tried. You're trying everything. I see no reason to die needlessly. Uh-oh, the rebellion. They have learned several Federation languages, but theirs continues to elude us. Hmm. The fact that any alien race communicates with another is quite remarkable. Sismarith, what did I just say? Cup. Glass. Are you sure? I may have meant liquid, clear, brown, hot. I love scientific explanations with physical items. <laughs> they really figured her out this season, it seems. We are entitled to consultation under paragraph 653, subparagraph 9. Granted. Okay, oh, all right. Yeah, they stuck to it. You know, they weren't like, uh, no. Yeah, oh, no. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's like, the whole thing was the treaty, though. Are you with us? Yes. The question is, how do we convince Koshevin? Goshevin's got a lot of supporters. Don't forget that, Kentor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm disappointed. I thought we'd settled this. I heard you from across the colony. You, you guys are pretty loud. You're just stubborn. Well, let me tell you something. Oh. <gasps> oh. That's a silent bump. You killed him. I've killed no one. I merely shut down a machine. Yeah, that ADR is very obvious now. It's been every single line of his. I don't know what happened. Like, when they were outside, it was one thing. I thought it was just, like, the outdoor Yeah, it was thing, all this but, outdoors? But, but, like, this is, you know... This seems pretty... Like, like no, no one else was ADR'd in this scene until he walked in. So I don't know what happened. Advance and speak. Here we go. Where are we? The Shulek ship, stupid. Yeah, I know, but I want to see what it looks like. We will comply with your request to remove the colony from Tau Sigma 5, but we need time. We will eradicate the human infestation. They are not vermin. They are citizens of the Federation. I will not permit this outrage. You do not discuss. You gibber. Between intelligent species of goodwill. Clay oh. sent him back. He's like, get out of my ship. I take it the Shelly Ark just hung up on us again. <laughs> oh boy. Hey! <laughs> I require a phaser. What's a phaser? A type of weapon. I'm going to kill one of your colonists. <laughs> but I believe I can improvise a servo circuit, compensate by continuously recolumating the output. That's awesome. Get me that treaty. They've been beating us over the head with it for three days. Let's see if we can't find something in it that we can turn to our own advantage. It's like a court episode, but not in court. <laughs> Yeah, post court. Yeah, post court. Yeah. Well, it says here. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Good sells by those guys. Yeah, that was almost a Wilhelm scream. Almost. That was the stun setting. This is not. You thought you were shooting a person? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just disintegrates. Whoa! Whoa! But they cause a volcanic eruption. Whoa. They may not offer you a target. They can obliterate you from orbit. You will die. Never having seen the faces of your killers, the choice is yours. Damn, Data, what a speech, dude. Still the problem of, uh, you know, getting them off the planet, but Picard's working on that. Picard's working on that. Hey, man, GG. I really was willing to stay here and die for this. This is just a thing, and things can be replaced. Lives cannot. This is hopeless. Fighting would be preferable. <laughs> I like that it said legal context analysis enabled, because I was wondering, I'm like, you'd think they'd have a technology to, like, look through it for them. Mr. Wolf, get with the Shelliac. Yes, sir. Guess what, bitches? Checkmate, gotcha. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Pursuant to subsection D3, I name the Grisellas to arbitrate. They are currently in their hibernation cycle, however, they will awaken in six months, <laughs> at which time we can get this matter settled. <laughs> Do you want to wait or give me my three weeks? Absurd. We carry the membership. We can brook no delay. Then I hereby declare this treaty in abeyance. Wait. Negotiation is permissible. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna hang up on you now. <laughs> you enjoyed that. You're damned right. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him, he's like... Ooh, he's like, bring him back on! <laughs> oh, let it sit for a couple minutes. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, okay. Sir? On screen. This is amazing. You may have your three weeks, Picard of the Enterprise. Thank you. <laughs> Aw. I mean, they're evacuating anyway, right? Yeah. Bring her on the Enterprise. You succeeded. I could not have succeeded without your support and insight. I guess what I really want to know is, do you have any feelings for me? I have no feelings of any kind. No, of course you don't. Oh! What was that for? You appeared to need it. <laughs> Good doctor was kind enough to provide me with a recording of your concert. Oh, yeah. The playing is quite beautiful. It is not my playing. It is a precise imitation of the techniques of Yasha Heifetz and Trenka Bronken. Is there nothing of data in what I'm hearing? You see, you chose the violinist. Heifetz and Bronken have radically different styles, different techniques, and yet you combine them successfully. Mr. Data, I look forward to your next concert. Wow, wow. Okay, man, I think we're here. <laughs> I think I think it's happened. Uh, as of right now, that Picard scene hailing the, uh, what are they called again? The, uh, that species? Shalikans? The sh yeah, that. I'm sure we're saying it wrong, like we do everything. And but... putting them on hold, paying off them, hanging up on them twice, and then hanging up on them and being like, they're hailing it. Picard just, hmm, just walking over, checking out the plaque. Might be one of my favorite Picard scenes or Star Trek scenes ever. Just having everything paid off in that moment was so wonderful. Uh, first data episode of the season. Very happy to see it, and I think it was great. I love this episode. I loved it too. I think this was one of the ones where there wasn't necessarily like a primary A plot and then side B plot. It was one of those where there was two concurrent plots that were pretty... 50-50 and they were both were timed and done very well. Neither one was given too much time to get too boring or slow and neither of them was uh, rushed. Like they both had an equal, you know, great amount of time. But yeah, no, I really loved it. Uh, definitely up there for me. I'm not going to make any huge grand gestures yet, but definitely up there. I don't really have any complaints about this at all. No, uh, yeah, if all the episodes going forward have this level of quality of storytelling, pacing, paying off what you bring up in the beginning and just and it's just smart and tense then hell yeah I'm, I, I can't wait yeah definitely there's still some characters that i'm waiting to get some moments you know Riker, wharf kind of been in the background but you know it's only two episodes we'll see how it goes it just feels like everyone has this more just like kind of relaxed settled tone into their characters like troy for example just seems to be working a lot better oh, yeah you know? this one of my favorite troy scenes was in this it's like they finally figured her out like finally it's great. Yeah, so awesome. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it more. If this is your first time here, we discuss all of these episodes we react to in depth. So make sure to check those out. They're posted the day after the reaction. Um, if it's available right now, that's going to be right here for you to click. So check it out. If not, make sure to subscribe so you can watch that as soon as it's posted, as well as all of Star Trek along with us. Alex and Josh, the target audience, all the cosmic so immense, this 
Gotta take data to the college campuses. <laughs>